Okay, so I've got the exhaust pipes bolted to the exhaust manifolds. There's no sense in going into that. That's everybody's own personal hell. So <laughs> it'll be okay. I got this bolted on, this big bracket here. And I'm going to try to sort all this out. To, it should somewhat fall together with you know relative ease. I've got my valve covers bolted on. And it's kind of cool. I like... I like using these things and uh, um, your six mil deals there. So those are on and they're on at the proper torque, you know. Don't go bananas on that or they'll leak. So let's see what, I'm mainly gonna call this how the bracket works and I hope I'm right. So I uh, do remember there is, uh, where's that funky thing? So you got that, that goes underneath, that goes underneath. There is, uh, here we go, there are these brackets here. So you've got these that hold the alternator. And one of these goes into the water pump. And this thing that I, 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 I can't remember where it went, but we'll sort it out here in a minute and I'll, I'll show you where it all goes. So this is, this is the thing that can make you kind of puzzle your, your noodles here. And I'll show you what it is in a minute, but you got these two brackets here. One goes to the thermostat housing, and it makes a funny turn and goes up and does this. And then this one goes to the bracket, I mean the upper part of the water pump. And then, uh, then you can hang your alternator, and your alternator bolt will be, there's one right here. And you wonder what this one is, it has, it has to do with this, because there's no support on the front of the alternator. That's what this does. And I'll show you in a minute. This is the bracket that holds the bottom part of the alternator. So you can't go without that. And so you got a bolt right here for the power steering pump. You got your adjuster for the power steering pump right there. And whatever you do, don't forget the one that's way down low. And you won't because that goes into this. So let me show everybody what it looks like all together now. So, all together now. Sing it with me, Sean. All, all together, together now. now. Okay. <laughs> all together now. One, two, three, four. Can I have a little more? So let's uh, turn the light on and I'll show you what this looks like. Now, you can't run. I'm not going to. This, Like I say, this is just a mock up to get me familiar again since I lost all my videos. So there's that. There, there's that bracket, that funky bracket, and you can see here how it supports the lower part of the alternator. And usually there's a metal sleeve in underneath the alternator, so don't lose that. You got this bolt here. Let's see if I don't think this one has the one that works on the tip. Nah, there's a little light right there, but one of them it don't work. Imagine that, huh? So um, there's this one and this one and this one, and then the one way down there. And I found the exact right piece of hardware for that. And it's a good time to check your uh, power. i tell you what, fellas. If you've got these old GM power steering pumps, they are not all the same. And uh, if you can find a kit, get one and store it, you know, uh, with your guns or whatever. Take good, real good care of it. I've got one for this in the trunk. So in case it ever goes. And it took me days and days and days to get it. And that was years ago. <laughs> All right, so we're going to fit the uh, altimeter uh, mechanical uh, temperature gauge in here. Uh, I'm not going to show the back of the alternator because everybody's going to be different on that. I've got all my, I got my earthing strap and all that stuff. So I'm putting, uh, I'm putting the altimeter. Now this is my second one of these altimeter devices because I have one in the Spitfire over there, and I got to tell you, I like it. Uh, so it's going to be quite the day coming up here pretty soon. I am going to, i got to go turn my ultrasonic cleaner on. Up, oh, ding, who's riding me? I'm getting ready to put the carburetor on it, so that's a big day right there. Uh, I think I'm going to put the distributor on it first. Now we are top dead center number one. Now don't Don't go crazy on that thing and warp it. So got a wrap a, a wrap a hoe. I got a wrap a wrap a little yeller tape 
and I always put a little bit of that on there because I mean I'll be able to suffer through a little bit of leakage on the on the break-in period but uh, not much so I kind of hope I'm hoping for no leaks okay so I got all this in order I feel good about that uh, I'm gonna have to put the I have to reassemble the whole bloody thing I found it and I kind of expected this now that the power steering pumps back in place uh, I'm gonna need to kind of change my fuel routing around and kind of do a little messing around here to get this see that's you can't see it but that's kinked right there so we can't we can't have that and I believe I got some new fuel hose and uh, so we're just gonna fix her up and uh, that's the intake side so we'll fix that up and uh, put the distributor on it I pulled half the wires off of it so I, oh I know you I think that I'm finally gonna mount this I got to make a decision on it so here's my distributor cap and wires and uh, there you go so let's uh, let's keep working well let's do a little looking around and catching up here I've got the uh, temperature sender in there gosh I hope that doesn't leak and but not as bad as I hope this doesn't leak oh, well I gotta have to move that. every time I look over here I think it's a mouse Ugh. well something was on it anyway but, you don't want to back up and hit lid, Gatorade lids, because you hear crunching noise. You don't want that. Okay, so I had some some brand new 3/8 fuel line, and I tapered this off a little nicer, and got it off the power steering line. So I got the distributor cap on there. I'll show you what I did, because you know I'm going to have to super tune this thing in like less than a minute. <laughs> so I've got the. Uh, I've got the window taped off. The the uh, Allen key goes in there. Let me just show you. And uh, there's my old dwell meter. I forgot what dwell is on an eight-cylinder, but I'll look it up. I might have it written down somewhere. So here's your key to life here. So I got that taped up because I want it to be out of my way. I don't want to keep futzing around with stuff. So, and it goes in, it goes in at an angle. It does not go straight in. I guess, I don't know why they do that, but they do it. You got to remember these little latches here go in uh, one way. And uh, just make it so you can just move your distributor uh, around. Uh, let's see. It's anti-clockwise, so that would be advanced. Okay, and uh, there's your bolt down there to cinch it up when the time comes I hope you didn't forget your distributor gasket I don't think I did I don't remember uh, so let's put that right there so let's let's wire up the plug wires it's getting a, it's getting a little scary time to get a little little crunch time going here but I'm not it's gonna be another couple of days I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna serve this very cold and slow I'm not in any mood to be in a hurry and I'm looking forward to putting vacuum on the cooling system and making sure we don't have any leaks. That is a piece of technology that I just love. So, and uh, so let's put this here. So, table's growing, growing more and more open to uh, atmosphere. And uh, so, yeah, I could actually turn it over if I felt like it. So, I believe we're going to wire it up now. <sighs> Scary. Very scary times. Ooh. <laughs> we don't have the film from Mifflin, Pennsylvania. These are bloody monkeys. They come up your legs, see. <laughs> All right. We've got the uh, distributor cap and wires. 18436572. And I'm not going to worry about tying those off quite yet. And I've got to put the carburetor on there now say it's getting real <laughs> all right well let's uh let's do that oh and i i can't do it i want to do it so badly i got well i guess i need to see if it if it fits that's what i'm that's what it is i need to see if it fits we'll find out what that is in just a moment <sighs> okay i get my gaskets and my grease and greased it up and 
when you put on the Mr. Gasket catalog number 6006, you have to uh, remember to put these in first. Uh, I know, I'm tired, so I'm not really watching what I'm doing. So uh, those are in. These are tight. You know, you just give it, give it the common sense tight thing. And we're just about ready to set the old Edelbrock on there. And I've got her over here and kind of blown out. Good time to check all of your vacuum hoses. I'm not running any vacuum to anything. So uh, other than to the uh, power steering, uh, power steering, power brakes. And then I will eventually put this on. I guess I better stick a little bolt in there or something. And I uh, don't think I got anything that little here. So anyway, we will, blah, 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 and then we'll, blah, 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 see, and uh, we'll put this on here, and then uh, that's kind of tricky. Uh, it it usually does pretty good by just tightening these on the top. I'm, what am I doing with all this stuff? It ain't. What are those doing there? I don't know. Huh. Well, you got to remember when you bolt these on too. You got to start them. I don't tighten them too much because the studs get in the way back here and uh, it's just a big it's a big mess so you'll you'll learn as you do it so uh, my uncle used to love me but she died I have the carburetor on and mounted I've got this little spacer thing there isn't that cute with a little thing I don't know I just kind of like it and I can run that down and all that stuff. So the Edelbrock is on and tight. I've got my return spring right here. And uh, there you, you got to, like I say, you got to do the back ones and then the front ones because uh, the bolts will actually get in the way of the body of the Corporate. So uh, it hits right here. So you have to get all that on there. So I'm looking all in there oh you know what I would sleep better tonight if oh where is that coming out of oh I think it just comes out of the bottom right there that wire yeah well, we'll work something out when the time comes I'm not keen on taking any of this stuff off because I think it's original I don't think it does a blasted thing but I've got to find somewhere to put that coil so I see that right there and I'm thinking about that hmm. I just guess that's the thing I just don't think it's gonna get too hot right there and it's kind of out of the way hmm. so I got my connecting rods here connect the dots la 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 I've got those uh, out painted you never guess what color I painted them, huh? And uh, so I'm probably going to mount the coil and put on my little coil wire. And it is here. And then make sure that's long enough. I think it is. So I'll have to do some soldering for some eyelets. And let's just take a look out here. Yeah, it's about time to go in. See, I painted them foggy mountain. Doggy Mountain blue or sea mist or sea foam or or something something foam. So anyway, oh I know what I was gonna do. Let's mount the coil, I'll show you that, and then we'll take the last shot and I'll show you the surprise. I know I'm sort of jumping the gun a little bit, but I've had a pretty good day. I've been interrupted a whole lot today, but that's okay. I don't mind that so much. It's part of it. So I uh, had to work on a Miata. So that means you got to work on this and get that out of your system. Ugh. <laughs> Big decisions made. Uh, I'm going to run that that way. We're going to run that in the loom. In the, in the loom of the bloom here. Okay. I'm just not holding the camera right today. I hope you all forgive me. Okay, so I've got that run to earth. I've got, there's going to be a wire, an ignition wire's got to go here to heat the choke up. I don't want to run this thing 
on full choke all the time. Now do I? I'm gonna have to just make a note of that. Oh, that's an earthing strap. Whoa. Okay. I wonder what I did, what, what, the, what that was about. Okay, well, I don't know. So I have been sorting this out to a certain degree. So as you can tell, I made a decision on the coil. And not only was I did I bolt the coil to the intake manifold, I got some wiring to do. This is the ignition. So mark that ignition. That's gonna I have to route that go up here and go around over there. And there's that beautiful wire there. And uh, then here's the let's see, this is a positive earth car. So the distributor goes to I mean a negative earth car. I'm just don't know. So the negative goes to the negative side of the coil so the points can earth out. And when you turn the key on, this is positive. And I've marked them right there too. So I've got to hook up uh, this. And then uh, I'll show you the, the big surprise. The big finale for at least today. And uh, so you can tell I got the original spark plug uh, bracket that holds spark plug wires and I got them here and I'll just bundle those with a, some little some little ties and all of that you got to earth every little thing okay so there's that and that's tight and that's tight and that's good and that's on we'll, we'll solder on some eyelets tomorrow it's just something there feels something feels loose that was I me mean, knocking a wrench off so noise alert all right let's uh let's hook up this vacuum hose back here for that thing so i can look at the vacuum gauge when i crank it and mess with the timing okay let's do that we'll, i keep saying it's one less shot what is it God, it's almost eight okay let me let me finish up here not a bad time to check your check valve so <laughs> Okay, well, I know, I know. I, I think that's the third time that's played today, so there we go. So this is your check valve for your... <laughs> Tastes like a check valve. Uh, it goes here on your brake booster, so I'm just not in any mood for anything to go wrong. Okay, so doesn't hurt to to look at that thing so i'm probably going to cut let's what size is this this is uh well, that's gates it's pretty good in, engineered in mexico say so i got half inch i think i'll go get some new of this and uh we'll, we'll retire that to to uh some some other some other foreign land okay so let's see I've got uh, this going here okay so let's just cut the one that's gonna fit <laughs> god it tastes terrible <laughs> taste, taste, I got it I think I got some sealant in my mouth coelacanth how many of you know what a coelacanth is I'm just trying to remember every little thing so I gotta make a jumper from the positive to here. And I've already, I got my fluke meter out to uh, check things. That is an earthing wire, it's obvious when you follow it. Oh, I've got, uh, come on, that gummy. So she's starting to look, got fuel line hooked up. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I think I'm gonna have to come up with something better than I don't know. You know, it's just what you run into. Uh, so I've got this uh, vacuum hose going here. I can just glance back here when I'm messing with the timing and uh, see what's going on there. Everything's clamped and done. New hose there, new vacuum, half-inch hose. And we are going to do some wiring tomorrow and some some setting up. Now, that went to the old thermos, uh, the old temperature gauge. That it's looking good got that nice sound in there 
All right, last shot coming up. I'm not going to put hoses on these because I want to see what's going on with the uh, output. It may be a little smoky at first. The ring's got to set in and all of that other stuff. So a lot of this has got to come back off, but anyway. Okay, four, three, two. Let me get in one spot. You, you're not going to believe what you're about to see. the Edelbrock Elite it looks like tri power uh, air cleaner now what are you thinking you thinking what I'm thinking hey, with a bonnet fit well I don't know that yet but I got a camera so you got one right here so all you got to do is when I get the bonnet back on it which will be a while I'll uh, I'll just aim it put some LED lights in here and close the bonnet and see how close this comes to the edge uh, and we'll just have to uh, deal with that day when it gets here. I'll go and get one of those great big poor boy things with the breather that breathes out of... No, we won't be cutting any metal. I don't know what I'll do if that happens. I guess what I'll do is uh, put this back on it. Of course, I've been saving this. This is the original air cleaner. That foam part number is 1099. So if I have to do that, I will. I think that, I still think that's pretty. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, so that sure is more pretty. <laughs> I got to tell you, that gets you from across the room, man. That's, that's some nice stuff. So I got the uh, battery charging meters ready. I went ahead and decided to uh, put, this is the original air conditioning bracket. God knows what that's worth. Uh, never really thought about it till just now. But uh, anyway, that probably held the old uh, A6 compressor or whatever it was. And I'm going to go ahead and, and sort of loosely fit the air conditioner compressor on this. And that'll help me route my cooling lines and stuff like that. Because I'm even if I don't hook the air conditioner up, I mean, I'm going to leave it there because I'm not taking it out. And uh, so anyway, that's going to be it for today. And we're going to turn out the lights. And uh, Dandy Don Meredith, turn out the lights. Okay. And that's what she looks like. And there's a lot of a lot of time goes into this. It's just it's just a whole lot of fun. Be more fun if you subscribed and give me a big old like and chomp the like button, as they say. The the tool bear. I like the tool bear. Maybe he'll give me some of his subscribers. Because he's got lots of them. And uh, anyway, uh, let's just make sure we get everything in the right place. This this uh, bracket has two places to uh, to possibly go. It could go over here a little bit more. I don't remember. All my pictures are lost. All my videos. So I'm sort of stuck, just sort of guessing. Glad I found that bracket and uh, what that did. And trying to think of anything else. Fuel lines hooked up, vacuum lines hooked up, uh, sparking wires are hooked up. Uh, I've got just a little bit of minor wiring to do, and uh, I don't know. It might be might be longer, so there's not a whole min whole lot more mini lower layer bolts to do. And uh, boy, I'm just I'm just got to go in. So sure appreciate you spending time with all oh, those are the air conditioning bolts, spending time with me and. Uh, we will we'll continue along tomorrow, and maybe in a week or so, I'll uh, I'll feel good enough to turn the key. Oh God, I gotta get a quart of oil. Quart of oil. <laughs> Welcome to the South. Go to Canapolis. I like a quart of oil. Oh, okay, sure. Here you go. You go anywhere else, and nobody knows what the hell you're talking about. It's like kite and bite and all that other stuff. What's it like outside? Yeah, I got a little bit of daylight left. There's those rods. I think they're going to be fine. And uh, I don't know. I'm just sticking with that thing. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.